into Maurice, has Queen 10. He's gonna raise to 210. Jim Gilbert behind him with a re-raise. A three bet with a King Jack offsuit. These are the kind of plays you can make in position, especially if you're chip leader. Everybody folding, Maurice gonna protect it. No one's gonna scream out of this hand, I promise. As long as you don't win. Many players would fold after getting re-raised with that hand, but Maurice defending here. And the flop's a king, nine, five. That is beautiful for Jim Gilbert. Yeah, Maurice has flopped a gut shot straight draw and checks. And Jim with top pair checks, a little surprising. Now the board pairs fives. Maurice probably thinking the guy's got ace high, gonna try to steal the pot with his queen high here. Bet's 350,000. If you fold, they won't scream. They gonna scream. Promise? They gonna scream if you fold. You, you ain't screaming if I fold? All right. Wow, can't believe Jim is looking back down at his hand, Vince. I don't like loud noises. It's just weird. The guy three bet before the flop. He knows what he's got. Doing a little deception there, Mike, I believe. And of course he does make the call with the top pair. River card, another five. Man, this gives a full house to Jim. But Maurice is going to continue with the bluff. He bets 325000 into a pot that's got about $1.8 in it. So obviously this bluff is going to fail miserably. Well, you just got to appreciate the effort, though, by Maurice to take a stab at that. And now he finds out the truth. The re-raise by Jim. And it's getting ugly. Maurice gives it up. That's one way to silence him, Vince. Pick off his bluffs.